Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be doing the team building guide for the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. So um, before I start, I want to apologize because yesterday's team building video, um, it actually hasn't even gone up yet, but it didn't feature the physical uh, free-to-play Broly, so I apologize about that. I'm going to include him in this team building guide. Uh, he is a decent unit, but I still think every team that I created in that in yesterday's guide still stands uh, for the purposes of the team. Uh, he is still a really good unit and a little bit self-reliant, but you don't have to worry about him because, you know, he's not definitely, he's definitely not someone who you're going to want to run on a primary unit. On top of that, um, he kind of fits on this team a little bit more just because this team is going to be a little bit more for the people who are unable to pull the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and still want to run a Super Saiyan 3 team. Now, with that being said, we will be talking and discussing about the Fighting Saiyan Counterattack Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now, this guy is a Super Saiyan 3 leader. He is definitely not as OP as his intelligence counterpart, but he's still a really good unit nonetheless. Now, he has a leader ability, Super Saiyan 3 category, and intelligence, agility, and physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 40%. So, he's an interesting mix because he gives the same boost to three different attribute types and Super Saiyan 3 category. Now, it's definitely uh, not as overwhelming as his uh, counterpart. It's not horrible. Um, let me put it like this. This guy will specifically be for Super Saiyan 3 teams. There's no reason for you to run him as a leader if you don't plan on using a Super Saiyan 3, a full Super Saiyan 3 team. Specifically because um, the Bardock level like this, if you end up running like the Intelligence of uh, Gogeta or something like that, you could end up doing a full, a mixed team of Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3s just because, uh, as you saw in my last video, how well that team works together. Um, this kind of a team, it, it, you would either want to run a Gogeta if you're going to do something like that, or if you're looking for a mixed team and um, you are going to have non-Super Saiyan 3s on that team, like Mass Saiyan Bardock, um, I believe Arale, cards like that who have those unique leader abilities, or the new LR Goku um, that uh, has that uh, HP attack and defense plus 100% up for all types of key plus 3. Cards like that will definitely trump this one, but if you don't have cards like that, um, another good one would probably be like uh, Super Vegito, because he does key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50% um, for all super types. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind when you're team building. Now, outside of that, we're going to go ahead and talk about him. Super attack is supreme damage and, and uh, su uh, supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. His passive skill is attack plus 80% when performing a super attack and defense plus 80% for five turns from the start of the turn. So he will be good for defending. He's not going to be the primary unit you can use for defending, but he's definitely going to be able to tank some hits because of that defensive buff that he gets. Uh, for the newer events, it might be a little bit of a pain in the butt because of the fact um, that it's only for five turns and, de and events definitely go further than five turns. Uh, but, you know, it really depends on how you're playing. If you're using this, I'm assuming you're going to be creating this team for more for fun. His link abilities are going to be Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Overnal Flash, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, Limit Breaking Form. Um, the He only trades out one link. I forgot what it was, but I know he gains Super Saiyan Warrior Race and he loses a percent buff. Uh, from his intelligence counterpart. Not horrible. It's still really good. Um, I, I still like him as a unit. It's definitely a fun unit to play. And honestly, because of his passive skill and the fact that he is a common uh, drop card, you can get him a super attack with 10 without any problems. And honestly, if you can, I would recommend getting him um, some dupe system paths because he actually benefits from the plus 5,000 all around stat. Now, that's really interesting for an SR that Dokken Awakens to an SSR. Not a lot of them get that. So he gets the full grade A dupe system treatment from the, the dupe system. So keep that in mind when you're doing some building on him. And uh, we'll actually talk about that because you can see down here. Um, his, well, we just talked about that. The categories, he is part of Super Saiyan 3 and Revived Warrior, which is cool. And then let's go ahead. We're actually going to talk about the stats now. Max stats, uh, no dupe system, is uh, HP of 8,500, attack of 6,664, and defense of 3,475. Base dupe system, it jumps up to HP of 10,500, attack of 8,6, and defense of 5,4, close to 5,5. Five. And then max dupe system, a full 5,000 upward is going to be HP of 13-1, attack of 11-6, and defense of 8-8, eight, eight, or close to 8-9 actually. So uh, that's really awesome. He does get some nice gains there, but I think the reason they gave that to him is because he's such an old unit. He already had very, very low stats as an SR, and he's getting a Doken Awakening well, well after he was released. Probably why he got it that, that nice buff. I don't think there's any other real reason to do that. Um, he still, although, only suffers from a uh, 
well, he only has 135% 12 key multiplier, which kind of suffers from that. Kind of kills him. Um, so uh, how the leader works like it typically works category system gets taken into consideration first if it doesn't meet the criteria for the category then they receive the the uh, actual mono attribute buff or the attribute buff so overall really good unit this is actually gonna be a really short team building guy because honestly I'm gonna be straight with you I don't see him ever fitting on um, a Super Saiyan 3 team uh, well, obviously you can't run him and the intelligence Bardock at the same time but I don't ever see him being your primary pick for a leader in any other situation unless you don't have any other leaders so uh, let's go ahead and talk about it best uh, well these are all the linking buddies that he has uh that are four or more on the left hand side are all the super saiyan threes on the right hand side are not super saiyan threes oh far, sorry about that i forgot to go hunt over there so let me actually go ahead and fix this because i have my zoom already on <laughs> sorry about that um we're gonna zoom a little bit more and that should be as good as we need it to be. Uh, Alright, so we have the Super Saiyan 3 Fizz Tanks. Um, obviously, the uh, LR, well, the LR Broly. The Super Saiyan 3 Free to Play for the Grindable Broly, who links with them for four link slots, which is actually really awesome. Um, keep that in mind when you're, when you're building this team. If you are like a free to play or a new. Sorry about that. If you are a free to play or a newer player, the, this SS3 Broly will be really good for your team just because he's freely obtainable. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the agility Goku. Super Saiyan 3, far, um, he's the one who actually, uh, drops us an SR. You have Doku make him Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, the agility Goku, which is definitely a top tier card you would want on your team. Uh, the physical Baba Shop uh, Goku that Doku makes from the Super Saiyan 2. And the new Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. Now, all of these actually take into consideration his leader ability, so that's why you don't see anyone else here. Uh, but these are the best linking buddies that he has with his leader ability taken into consideration. On the right-hand side, we have the Kaioken Goku, the Intelligence Vegeta, the Physical Broly, Super Saiyan Broly, and Super Vegito. Very good units that he has that links very well with him, uh, so keep that in mind again with team building. But honestly, you're probably only going to use the Super Saiyan 3, so these guys can all be kind of like ignored. Uh, next one we're going to go and talk about is his best number one linking buddies. Uh, those are going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, the one that was farmable from Dragon Ball Heroes. The Super Gogeta, as always, because Super Gogeta is here. Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about his other, li his best linking buddies for five or more key links. Um, number one is going to be Gogeta, obviously. Now, even though I said you're probably not going to want to run a primary team uh, without Super Saiyan 3s, Gogeta may be that exception just because he links with five link sl skills with both this Bardock and the Intelligence Bardock, so it's something to keep in consideration, and he's a very good unit, very good uh, unit to run on this team overall. Uh, we have the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan and the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku. Now, you would only want to run the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku if he's like level 140. I mean, you could do it if he's not 140. I'm not saying it's primary purpose of him or the primary use for him is going to be if he's at level 140. <laughs> But you have other options on a Super Saiyan 3 team than this one if he's not level 140. Uh, but these are the be his best linking buddies for five or more key links, or five or more link skills. Uh, now we're going to talk about team building, alright? We have the Agility Bardock, we have the Intelligence Bardock. This is assuming that we are bringing the, um, uh, the Intelligence Bardock with us. So we have these two, we're obviously not going to want to be on the same rotation because they won't link together. Um, we have the Fist Tanks, because Fist Tanks is Super Saiyan 3, very, very good card. And the Agility Goku, um, an off-rotation. Unfortunately, we don't get those nice buffs that we got with the Intelligence Bardock if we don't have a double lead. So you could technically can run, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku card if you want the Strength one, the one that goes grade 8 because of that buff. But he's not getting any buffs from the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. So because he's not getting that, um, the, the Agility one, because he's not getting those buffs, I don't think he really would have a place on this team. I mean, you could do it, um, but... You have to also take into consideration he's only going to be getting a key plus three and then HP attack or attack and defense plus 170%. While those buffs are really nice, if you throw on a different unit like one of these guys and replace to replace him, they're going to get the double buff and they're going to get additional key because you're foregoing all the technique and the uh, strength cards. Um, so, off rotation, and this is just up to you on how you would run on it. This is who I think would be really good. Um, we have the supers, the, the Trunks, we have Gohan, and we have the Kid Goku. Now, Trunks is really good at defending. Gohan um, has some decent attack uh, output. Not the most damage output in game, but for the type of team that we're trying to build, this is what you would want. Uh, and then we have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who also has a nice attack and defensive buff. You really wouldn't need to worry about having any defenders because of the Trunks and the Goku that are there. Um, on top of that, the... Uh, 
Uh, the actual Bardock, the Agility Bardock, does defend pretty well, and our Bardock obviously does do some decent defense, the defending as well, especially when his uh, HP goes below 70%. Um, Fizz Tanks typically does do well with blocking because, you know, physical units usually do, um, and they have higher defense. Um, so honestly, your only real cannons you're going to have to be, well, glass cannons, I guess you could call it, is the Agility, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and that Gohan. Gohan's pretty good, though. Um, he's not horrible when it comes to his defensive capabilities. I actually have his card pulled up on my other screen. So he does get an attack and defense buff of 60%, and uh, attack plus additional 60% when uh, uh, triggering a super attack. So he gets a 60% buff as long as he, his super attack goes off first. So honestly, the defensive capabilities of this team are pretty good. Uh, it just thinks that you're losing the ability to have that additional 170% buff. Overall, this is a really good team, so don't feel discouraged if you weren't able to pull the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. The Agility Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is a really good card, and this team is still viable. Um, on the bottom over here, we do have some other units. I didn't put these in because um, I don't think they are as good as the other units that I had selected. Now, the reason is because like this Broly over here, while he's a cool unit, he doesn't have over and a flash. So it's not like he's going to be able to get a lot of key off. Yes, he is self-reliant because he gives himself key plus three. But I feel like they just did that because he didn't have over and a flash. That's so kind of like, why didn't you just give him over and a flash? Um, outside of that, this Goku gets a flat out buff. And this Goku over here, the kid Goku, is a support unit. But he only supports like the physical types. Everyone else he would not support on here. Because uh, I believe it's actually physical and technique. And technique is not part of this team due to the abilities or the lack of abilities of the agility Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind when you're doing team building about passes and stuff like that. While he will be a buff for the physical, he's only going to be buffing himself and the Fizz Tanks. But uh, yeah, guys, that's a really short video on the team building guide for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, the agility one. I hope that was informative for you. Don't feel discouraged if you didn't get the intelligence one. While it's an awesome team, you can still do a really nice Super Saiyan 3 team. And honestly, something like this would really do well up against the Broly event. Yes, it stinks because you have three intelligence units here. Um, you could you could honestly, four, or actually four intelligence units, if you're doing up the Super Saiyan 3 Broly event, um, you may want to get rid of that agility Goku and just throw in the Broly because he's a Super Saiyan 3 that takes one agility unit off. So that way you don't you, you would have less of a risk of getting taken out by the technique one. Um, but overall, I think this is a good team that you can go and take that event on with. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.